Welcome to It's Supernatural with Robin Show, where we share personal experiences and scriptures on how you can walk in the supernatural. The show is mixed with off-grid living, toxic-free lifestyle, and a touch of politics. Join our host today for today's podcast, and remember, it's natural to be supernatural. What God has been showing me, hi guys, <laughs> what God's been showing me is that we are not using everything that the blood of Jesus paid for us to have as far as our brain goes. And when Adam and Eve operated in the garden, they operated on the full brain. Everything that God created our physical body to have, they operated in that. And then after the fall, we lost all that. But the blood of Jesus paid for it and took it all back for us. So what I'm saying to you is the scientists say that we only use like 10% of our brain or even like one third of our brain. <clears throat> so that means that there's two thirds or 90% 90, 90 of our brain we're not using, but we are kids of the kingdom. We are born again, bought kids of the kingdom. And so when God created us, he gave us the capability of using our whole brain. And I think that that's one of our weakest things in Christianity is we're not taught how to use our whole brain uh, we don't even look at the fact that we're only using 10% of our brain or, or one third of our brain, but that Jesus paid for us to use all our brains. So what I do and what the Holy Spirit has been showing me is when I take communion, the communion is I use bread, cracker, water, whatever substance I have. And I say, this is a symbol of the body and the blood of Jesus. What he did physically and spiritually is, I am doing physically and spiritually when I'm taking communion. And so I receive the DNA record of everything the blood and the body of Jesus did uh, when he was on the earth. Uh, that DNA record was put inside of Mary and covered with the flesh of Jesus. And everything that Jesus did on the earth is recorded in his DNA. Everything your mom and dad did until your birth is recorded in their DNA. Every thought, every feeling, everything is recorded in their DNA and so on and so on and so on all the way back in history. So everything's recorded in that DNA. Well, everything that the blood and body of Jesus paid for you to have is recorded in the DNA of Jesus. And when we take communion, we are receiving the DNA of Jesus. Now there's a book of destiny written for all of us. And I don't want to really go into that and explain that right here, but you can check out, um, Terry Spencer, young Clayton and people like that. They, uh, Justin Abram, different people, um, Mike Pearson will talk about our book of destiny and it's in the Bible and each of us have a book of destiny and written in that book of destiny is everything that God has good things that God has planned for our life. So Jesus book of destiny is written about him, but his DNA carries everything that he did on this earth when he walked in the earth, just like it's, it's like his book of destiny. Everything he did while he walked on this earth is written in his DNA. And when we receive his DNA, we, I have been confessing and believing that everything, because I'm taking communion, I'm receiving the DNA of God inside of me. And everything that Jesus did on this earth, which is not recorded in the Bible, because the Bible said that if everything that Jesus did on this earth was recorded, there would not be enough books on this earth to record it. Okay, but it's recorded in his DNA and I have the DNA in my body. That's how I'm born again by the word, the seed of God, the DNA of God. I'm born again. My spirit is born again. My spirit knows all things. So I'm saying that that DNA of Jesus that recorded everything he did in history, everything he, his body and his blood paid for me have is inside of me. And I, I um, engage it by speaking in tongues and by pulling it from my spirit into my head and my heart to have understanding. So I want, okay, so I'm on a sidetrack here, but I want, and, and it's still within the same thing, but there's other things I want to share with you. Um, so if I get on a rabbit trail, remind me, but I want to engage the DNA of Jesus. That is the record of everything his body and blood paid for me to have. What is my harvest? So when I take communion, I say, Father, in Jesus name, I thank you uh, for the DNA of Jesus 
that is a record of everything that he did on this earth for me that is not even written in the Bible because it can't even fit in all the books. I receive that record inside of me and I engage that record. I trigger that record to, um, to give me understanding from the tree of life. What did Jesus do for me that I, I'm not aware of that I don't know that is not written down yet. So that's one thing that you want to do when you take communion. One understanding that you want to have is that DNA record is in you. That DNA record recorded everything that Jesus did while he walked on the earth. It's like his destiny book. And so that's one thing. The other thing is the Bible says that you have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is not only is not operating at 10%. The mind of Christ is operating at 100%. Okay. So we lost 90% of our brain possibilities when we were on uh, because of the fall. Well, Jesus paid for that to have it back. He, his blood paid for us to have the harvest of everything he died for us to have. And he, the word says that we have the mind of Christ, that we know all things, that anointing teaches us all things. So we have to take that DNA record, that blood and body of Jesus that paid for everything for us to have, we have to get that from our spirit into our understanding. And one of the ways to do that is speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues, the Holy Spirit reminded me, I've been searching um, why I have a particular problem in an area and why it hasn't been solved and going to court about it. And the Holy Spirit told me that I used to go for a walk every morning about 45 minutes long and that whole time I would be praying in the spirit and I would get such revelations and understanding and so on and he says you haven't been praying in the spirit when you pray in the spirit it takes wisdom knowledge discernment it, and and every the mind of Christ and it pulls it from your spirit realm into your understanding so that you can apply it into the natural world and so the key is praying in the spirit but also to have the revelation knowledge that we have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is not 10% or one third percent. The mind of Christ is everything. So I say when I pray and when I, especially when I take communion, almost every morning I take communion, I sent the host of heaven out. I make declarations, but I really, really love praying in the spirit. But I really, I mean, I really, really love taking communion because it's taking the body and the blood of Jesus, the DNA of what Jesus paid for and bringing it into the, into manifestation in my physical body, my spiritual body, and my soul, my mind, my memory, my emotions, and, and all of that. So the thing is, he says, you have the anointing, and the anointing teaches you all things. Things The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and makes alive your physical, your mortal, your physical body. Well, my brain is part of my physical body, so the Holy Spirit makes alive my brain. And I confess that I have... Um, an itch right here I confess that I have um, the mind of Christ that I can see hear feel taste and smell in the spirit realm I confess and declare declare and decree that I have the mind of Christ that I think his thoughts that I have the mind of Christ that I am uh, smarter than than all the people in the world because if you look in the Old Testament Daniel was ten times smarter than everybody in the world uh, than the best of the best, which is were the king's men's. So if Daniel could have that in the Old Testament and, a, and after the fall we lost all of our use of our brain except 10%, then I can have even greater than, I can have, be 10 times smarter than the best in the land and I can have 100% of my brain. So I confess that I have all wisdom, knowledge and discernment and understanding and skill and in dream interpretation for myself and in whatever I set my hands to do prospers. So I have that ability. So I confess that because I have the mind of Christ, I am 10 times smarter and even smarter than that, than the smartest people in the land. Whatever I set my hands to do, work at publishing books for other people, writing my own books, uh, playing ice hockey. I speak to my body and I say, you know how to play ice hockey safely. You know how you have the skill to understand it and to play it. Uh, I set my hands to publish other people's books. You have the tools, you have the wisdom, you have the knowledge and understanding to do this with excellence because you have the mind of Christ. You're using all of your brain. And this is what I uh, speak and I confess. And whatever 
like when, when I do my ventriloquism, I confess the same thing. So whatever I set my hands to do prospers because I have the body and the blood of Jesus, the DNA of God, the record of God in me. And I can have what Jesus had. I am a spirit being, so I should be able to see, hear, taste, smell, feel, and speak into the spirit realm and change things. And I have the physical mind that is smarter than everyone else because I use my whole brain. So that's kind of the things that I want to encourage you on. I want to encourage you in speaking in tongues and getting the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and skill that you already have inside of you because you have the mind of Christ to bring it from the spirit into the the physical to manifest also to uh, confess and believe that you have the mind of christ to understand the dna of god is in you to understand uh that everything jesus did is recorded in that dna and you can access that and you can access using 90 percent of your brain and pulling out these um confessions and, and and skill and wisdom and knowledge and everything you set your hands to do so that is the revelation that God has been giving me as I'm taking communion every morning. And then I sent the hosts of heaven out according to the word of God. I remind them that they hearken to the voice of the word. And I am the body of Christ that has the word on this earth. And I send them out according to um, the words of my mouth. And I say the word says everything I set my hands to do prospers. So I send you out in Jesus name to go get three paying Christian authors whose destiny book is written in my book that they will become authors because I'm publishing them. I send you out to get the wealth of the wicked to bring it to you to me today. I send you out to get sevenfold restoration and harvest everything um, stolen from me and my ancestors all the way back to Adam to bring that harvest to me. Everything my me and my ancestors have sown into the kingdom that I have not received or they have not received and they're dead. I send you out to bring that to, to me now in Jesus name and so on. Um, uh, I say that I have the mind of Christ. When I wake up and have a dream, I say, Holy Spirit, I have the mind of Christ. I have wisdom, knowledge, discernment, and skill. I have brain that's smarter than all the smartest people in this land, and I have understanding, and I engage that right now in Jesus' name. So, uh, Spirit of Wisdom, I need you to interpret this dream. Holy Spirit, interpret this dream, and so on. So, you have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ does not use only 10%. Or one third percent it uses all of the brain that God created for you to have so begin to confess that begin to walk in that uh, begin to uh, pray in tongues to bring that understanding bring that skill bring that knowledge from your heart from your spirit into your head uh, so that you can manifest it in the physical realm so <clears throat> my name is Robin Bremer dot net is my website I'm also a published author and I publish other people's books so if you have a book that you want published uh, it's three hundred dollars Connect with me. Let me know. I can get your book published and print it and in your hand within 30 days. There is no, um, uh, you don't have to buy any certain amount of books. You buy one book or 100 books and Amazon sells it for you. It's really a great setup. It's what I'm called to do right now to bless other people by only charging $300 instead of $1,000 to $20,000 to do the same thing. And I also promote your book and so on um, as part of the other services I offer. Uh, and give counsel on how to uh, make your book profitable because I have a, a lot of number one best-selling books. Okay, so that's my commercial. <laughs> share this video if you've gotten anything out of it. If you uh, share it with your show, social media sites, your friends, and so on. And have a blessed day. I love you. Talk to you later. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. If it was a blessing to you, please consider financially supporting us by clicking on the Sponsor This Podcast button. Any links mentioned in this podcast will be listed below along with any affiliate products, services, or partner websites. If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your social media site and remember, it is natural to be supernatural.